Hi, I'm Lee from The Game Creators and this time we're going to take a close look at the dynamic lure system. It should be noted that in these early sneak peek videos, the graphics, that is the terrain and the stuff you see in the renders, is the old graphics engine. We'll be introducing the new graphics engine in future sneak peek videos. So let's take a look at the dynamic lure system. First of all, we're going to need some entities. So we'll drop down a character. We'll drop down a barrel. And let's first look at the character. But let's delve a little deeper into this. Right now, by default, it selects Follow Waypoint. And you can see there is a plain English description of what this logic is and a parameter range, which is currently set to 400. If I change that to Walk Away, now you've got a different description of what the logic is for walking away. And in addition to the range, you've now got stop distance. So, how did this extra parameter appear? For that, we need to take a look at the Lua script itself. And one way to do that is to switch down to custom, which lets you specify your own script. And we're going to look at the walk away script. As you can see, the Lua script is pretty much the same as what you had before, except for a couple of key points. For example, right at the top, you've now got a comment called description. That is the description that you'll read inside the UI. And as you read along, you'll notice there's now these square brackets. Inside the square brackets is a label and a default value. And if you look down, there is now a new function in each of the scripts called properties. And within properties, these values are passed in, range and stop distance. We have a global array which stores the range and stop distance. And then when the script first initializes, it actually sets these defaults, 150 and 800. But that's done by the script. It is overwritten by what's done in the UI. For example, if I change range from 400 to 300, 300 will be passed in through the properties and then set within this element of the array. So now you can see that when we select the walk away script, that range and stop distance have been specified within the script itself and now can be edited inside the UI instead of having to go and edit it inside the script, which I think you'll agree is a much better way to modify your scripts. Also, the dynamic loop system has a couple of extra tricks for you. If we select the get close and speak, you'll actually have a field called speech one. As soon as the dynamic Lua system detects that using one of the speech labels, it will actually open up something called speech control, which then allows you to select a TTS voice, a rate for that voice, and opens up the option for able to record your voice, select an audio file, or use text to speech in this text box here. So by including speech one, speech two, or speech three, or all three inside your script, you'll be able to open up speech control. Of course, you've got the old favorites, such as move speed and animation speed, which we considered super important, very important, used a lot, so we've moved it up to the customize. But we have left you access to all of the other properties. So all you're gonna do is open up advanced. You still have access to all of the properties that were previously exposed in case you wanted access to them. We realized though that there's only two things you really want to change. Movement and animation speed are pretty common, but mainly you want to tweak the script. So that's characters. Let's have a quick look at entities. Now, as you can imagine, entities, they'll come in all shapes and sizes. It's pretty easy when you select a character. Characters generally will only do a certain number of things. Entities can do practically anything. So by default, usually find it under custom. And this barrel doesn't really do anything. The barrel has no real logic. So there isn't any script for that. But if you use the drop down, let's say select the hover one. Again, you've got an English description of what this logic does. The object will have up and down its y-axis by hover height units. So it looks like hover height units is set here. It's on a slider. So let's put it to say 61, which is an arbitrary value. I'll do test game. Let's see what happens. Yoy, yoy, yoy. So we now have a floating barrel. You see how it's floating and hovering really high? If we go back to the dynamic lower system, and just change that scale right down to say 13. Run it again. The barrel now hovers very close to the floor. That is the real power of the dynamic Lua system. It allows script writers to expose the more 
tweakable values to the end user so the end user doesn't have to know how to script. Check out the link below for a great discount on Genguru Max. Don't forget next Wednesday we're going to do a live broadcast full of Game Guru Max goodness. So go to the Game Guru forums and check out when that's going to be. Also, don't forget to subscribe and please do share this video.